Aaron, here we come. I think we managed to sort out the camera. Good afternoon from New York City. Good morning, a stormy morning here in California, near the Pacific Ocean. And there's a storm coming in, but I'm gonna to try to take off before it reaches the aircraft here. I'm currently flying this thing. It's like a flying car, basically. It's the closest I've ever seen to a flying car. I, I didn't know, even realize this was in this video game. It's an Icon A5, which I've modified with a paint job for this cyberpunk cross stream. We're gonna go visit Night City, Night City the, the location that inspired Night City in the coming, upcoming cyber, cyberpunk video game. The, uh, let's take off and I'll talk on the way, okay? Because I don't want the storm to get to me, okay? Control B, let's, uh, sure. Full power. Oh. I should probably do this too, so you can see what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> and I'll be with you one second. All right, there you go. All right, gear up. And it's a flying car. This is—it's an Icon A5. It's the closest airplane I could I could find to something that I would imagine would exist in the cyberpunk universe. And. It's a quite a new aircraft. I think it was a design in the 2000s. And it has uh, some features that are really cool. I'll talk, about it. I'll talk to you about them as soon as I figure out where the, where the compass is on this thing. Because I have, I have zero practice flying with this, or just a little bit, okay? Okay, where's the, where's the compass? All right, I don't see a compass, so maybe I'm just gonna have to, to drag this map around. Yeah, so this, uh, let, let's just let's just do it by, you know, visually. So the sun rises in the east and it settles in the west. So if I fly towards the sun, here on earth at least, okay? So if I fly towards the sun, that's east. That means that if I fly the opposite direction from that, that'll be west and we are headed west because we are headed towards Morro Bay, the location that inspired a designer of a board game that Cyberpunk is, the video game is based on. He was, a, he was a consultant in the project since 2012, a gentleman by the name of Mike Pondsmith. I'm not familiar uh, with his board game work, but like everyone else, I've been hearing so much about this cyberpunk video game. I've played The Witcher, you know, from CD Projekt, Polish company, and, and it's one of the, if not the most eagerly awaited video game in history, I think. Maybe GTA V take that crown and we're gonna skirt some storms ahead towards Morro Bay which is where this uh, gentleman Mike Wandsmith um, used to drive uh, by and he liked the area and he thought about that it would be a good location for a for a city in in a uh, board game and that's where we're gonna go visit today. That's why uh, I, I painted uh, this airplane this color. That's why I, I made the Hypertext Hero logo like using the Cyberpunk font, which is a free downloadable font. You type Cyberpunk font, you can find it on the internet. I put a little heart on it, I put a little wing on it. I put like this quite garish in a way, uh, bright yellow color, but that's the Cyberpunk punk, uh, visual identity is, is pretty much uh, tied to this color. I like it, I, li I mean, I like, you can call it a little garish, but it, with, with the blue and with the little touch of red in the uh, CD Projekt red logo, I think it really works out. And I've got the primary colors, and and I applied it to this. For me, it's the most uh, weird and sci-fi looking airplane in Microsoft Flight Simulator that I've found that I've flown so far. And this thing, it can land on water, it's like with the, with the with the. See, it looks like a little boat, and this place can land on water. They call this a sports. Uh, Aircraft, so it's kind of like a you know a sports car, a light aircraft, like a type of sports car. So it can land on water, you can put the gears down, you can land on land, so it can go anywhere. It doesn't have a lot of range, I think about 600 nautical miles, but it uh, it lets you go, you know, where you want some adventure flying. Whether you're going, you're heading to uh, to the beach or, or to a, a river in the Amazon, maybe, or even here tomorrow, Bay, we're gonna try both of these things. Let me put the flaps up before I forget. Okay, the, okay, and then I'm gonna have to trim the aircraft because uh, when the flaps go up, you got less lift, you know, the, the nose drops. 
and I'm trying some stormy weather here. I finally managed to figure out how to modify the weather in the 3D world in a Microsoft Flight Simulator, and it really lets you play around with it live, and I'm gonna show you that a little bit more later, and it's really exciting because I managed to get some storms going here, or some lightning going that's not like everywhere, so you can still see like the landscape, but there's scattered storms, and this is the setting that I was really looking for because the default setting for the storm is just completely storm. You can't see anything, you, and and I love seeing storms that you know are moving a, across the landscape, and and you see the moving across the landscape, but you can also see the landscape itself. And you know I see this in real life, so I was hoping that I'd be able to find the setting to do this here, in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I'm so happy I've managed to do that. I don't know if the if I'm having to shout too much over the engine here. Let me lower a bit my Discord. Uh, I mean Discord my my OBS, Open Broadcast, Broadcaster Studio settings here. And yeah, we're, I'm, I'm just trying to fly around these storms. I'm flying towards the Pacific Ocean here. And this is actually not far from the area where I first, in, in, in real life, in, in my, you know, my life, I, I first saw the Pacific Ocean many years ago. Whoa, that was a pretty close lightning strike right there. Many years ago, I arrived near St. Simeon. So uh, I think uh, 100 or 200 miles north from here. And this uh, Morro Bay is, is between uh, LA. Oh, look at the sun over there. Wow, okay, this, I'm, I'm glad I put this storm because it really gives you a bit of this, you know, cyberpunkish feel of, I don't know how the weather's gonna be like in Night City uh, on Wednesday. I'm gonna be streaming that on Wednesday, so I thought I would do this time thing, but I imagine, you know, in Blade Runner, it was raining pretty much all the time, you know, and it wasn't even daylight in the film, maybe in the end of it, in one of the, the end versions, I don't know if it's the director's cut, they, they cut to a green field, but generally, you know, these, this cyber and, and android and, and near future uh, dystopian technological thrillers usually have bad weather, usually have, usually have terrible pollution. And so I was imagining that that would be the case here. And that's why I'm flying here in this type of weather. Look at the size of that cloud there. There's some cumulus clouds that are very high, really beautiful to be flying on some stormy weather. Microsoft Flight Simulator are finally figuring this out. And while I'm figuring that out, I, I should really figure out, I cannot believe, you know, this is like a car, okay? Like this, this is an Icon A5. It was designed by like some aircraft designer. They hired a BMW car designers to do the dashboard. This here is a very innovative thing. I've never seen another airplane. It's an angle of attack, very important information that in the other airplanes, you don't really get that information that easily. Here, I'm on the green. If I start moving up, pulling the nose up, you see this thing is, is, is starting to, to, to go up. It's gonna go to the yellow, and when it goes to red, you, you gotta stall, okay? And look out the window. Okay, when it goes to red, and that's, that's a stall. And so it's a very useful indicator angle of attack, like a visual indicator. That's one on the very top there. I've never seen one like this, and it's ni a nice innovation here uh, in this uh, Icon A5 aircraft. You have like airspeed, some nice typography there. You got the altitude very clearly marked. You got fuel, you know, important thing to know about. Mark, the oil's in the green, the pressure, temperature's in the green, pressure's in the green, the water temperature's in the green. RPM is almost in the yellow. I'm gonna low it down a little bit, but I don't see a compass. That's one thing I'm, I think is kind of nuts here. Maybe, maybe I have to put like 3D vision. Oh, here you go, 3D vision. That's, so I would really love like a, I would have to carry like a real compass with me in this plane because I guess they, they don't have a, an analog one and a compass for me is so important. Okay, so I'm gonna go west. So west is 270 degrees. I'm, I'm going the wrong way here. I'm going north. So let's uh, turn, um, turn left here and let's get to about 270 and then we should be heading towards uh, I see some lights there and I see an air, some aircraft lights there. Okay, and then we're gonna be heading to the, to Night City, Morro Bay, California, uh, on Highway 1, pretty much, right by Highway 1. And skirting these storms here from the, the coming up on the east in this beautiful morning. I didn't put live weather, so it doesn't look like this there right now. You can put like weather. There's an awesome thing in this video game as well. There's some sort of airliner high up. I just saw some starboard lights. But I wanted, to, I wanted to put some more exciting storm weather here, so, so that's why I didn't put live weather. And the cool thing is like, if you click on this little cloud here, you can change the weather live. I'm not gonna do it right now, but the only way for you to get this little cloud here is for you to not put live weather when you, uh, 
before the flight because with live weather there's no way to change it in the flight because you know it's taking information from the real world there and and that's what you have okay this is a push uh, configuration airplane so that's a propeller in the back that means that out front here we have a completely clear view you know you don't see a little propeller like shaking and, 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 and getting in front of your Im of your of your image with like some blur which is cool to see sometimes and I see it all the time in the in the <laughs> in the World War II flight simulators like Isle of Tumervik but it's nice to have like a clear I really feel like you're in a car in like a Lamborghini Diablo or, or you know a Ferrari Testarossa or something you're it's really like a flying little sports car this thing I mean if it was really a sports car you have a jet a jet engine back here instead of this propeller but you know it, they have to try to make it affordable for the people that this is affordable. I think it's cost one hundred and seventy thousand dollars. I don't know, but but it is a, a a cool little machine. And I and I made this paint paint job especially for the stream. I, I figure out how to hack it there. I figure out how to erase the A five on the top and put my HyperTech Zero Twenty Twenty with the cyberpunk typography there. The little heart, you know, for you to follow if you enjoyed this. And uh, here we go. Let's keep moving. Okay, I am heading east. Okay, I, I keep going, I keep turning. I wanna go west. It's 270 degrees, okay? I think, and I think this is it, okay? And in the distance there, I think I can barely see the Pacific Ocean. But just to be sure, I'm gonna go in here in this panel. Let me move a bit to the side, and I'm moving a little to the, to the co-pilot side here. And I'm gonna go to map. Let's click minus a bit. And let's see, where the hell am I? Is this me? I don't even know where I am. Oh, this is me. Okay, I, I was all, way off course. Okay, I'm over here. So there's a way for us to go. But we are headed here. So I have to actually go. I'm all the way up here. Jeez. Okay, I'm getting totally discombobulated here. Okay, nearest this. Uh, let's try nearest airport. Okay. I think that's me. And we want to go like here, that little thing there. So it might take a little while longer than I thought, but we do have uh, at least an hour for a stream. If I am heading west, I will be headed to, um, I will be heading towards, okay, north is up, okay. Yeah, here you go, that is me, now I'm turning, okay. I'm gonna just set a vector over here so another thing I would change on this, I would put the bearing right here in the map. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it separate from the thing. It's probably a reason they do it like this. But okay, let's free the 3D vision. So I want bearing 212 degrees more or less. All right, let's stay right there. Let's, uh, let me look at a landmark so I can keep it in sight here. There's a bit of a mountain, a little bit there, like it goes up and then there's one in the middle and then it goes up again. I'll keep aiming towards that. And we're off. All right, I wanted to do, I was a little discombobulated because um, I, I use this old phone as my webcam and sometimes it runs out of battery because it's, it's an old iPhone and if you don't plug it in for a while, it runs out of battery. So when I turn the PC off, sometimes it dies and it takes a while for it to come on again. And then it, that means that I'm, I'm here, you know, waiting. It's like, charge the camera because the stream is about to start and, and it's not coming on. And I was trying to plug in my other phone, so I was a bit discombobulated. But I did want to do a touch and go on another airport nearby here, Santa Margarita Ranch Airport. I took off from Bogdan Airport, I guess an airfield by a gentleman named Bogman. Uh, I, I, I think it's a, it was a tiny little airstrip. And it was one of the nearest ones to to Morro Bay, where we're going to see the real life location of Night City ins that inspired Night City. Okay, and I'm curious to see if it actually matches uh, what I've seen of. It. I haven't played obviously Cyberpunk yet. I'm not a game reviewer. Well, I am, but you know, I'm not like a, I'm just like an independent. I don't work for any websites. But um, so I haven't played it yet. I'm gonna play it on Wednesday. I'm gonna stream that. And that's why I'm doing a bit of a cyberpunk crossover um, stuff with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll figure out how to do it. One of the Red Dead. I don't know how it would do that. Maybe we can find some all yellow clothes or something. You know. All right. Let me drink a little water. Talking a lot here. Fun airplane to fly. This very easy to airplane to fly. 
it's small. Uh, I do I do suggest that if you are looking for a very easy plane to start out in, in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I mean, Cessna is always a good one, but this one here, it really is uh, another, there's a little air fit, isn't it? Another, it is another level of uh, ease of use. I mean, it looks like a car. Look at it. It even has like, it's not, this is not accelerate and that and uh, and that's not brake. Okay, these are rudder pedals. So, so it go like that and the plane goes like that. Okay, but it even looks like a car. Like, uh, you know, it has like, look at the detail on all this stuff. There's the landing gear. So you can, when, the, when it's up, you land on water. When it's, uh, when it's down, the little thing is going to light up here. Then you land on the ground, obviously. Okay, don't do it the other way around. Very, very easy to read dashboard. Only improvement I can think of is let's put a compass here, people. An analog compass, come on. You know, what if what if the power goes out? Okay, what if what if uh, the stuff here? What if what if uh, this happens? Like you know, everything goes off. You have nothing. Okay, even even these. This is all like electric. But you know, they probably had to make. Uh, so all these instruments, if you get analog ones, they cost money. To keep costs down. They probably just had to, you know, if you, if you want custom analog instruments, you probably have to pay more for it. Not that it's something I'll ever think about because <laughs> it's an, uh, you know, flying these things for real is expensive, and that's why I love uh, um, video games like this. I can let me do things that are too expensive to do in real life and, and potentially very risky. You know? All right, now I'll really drink some water. Frankie della Familia, buongiorno comandante. And Frankie, I'm I'm flying California now. I don't know if you're excited about cyberpunk, but I know you like these sort of uh, you know games of stories. And CD Projekt are one of the best game development studios for story for for you know quests and, and stories in games. And so this is going to be a good one for you. Maybe, maybe you will, you'll get a PC or, or get it for the PlayStation or Xbox, whatever kind of console you have in your house right now. And who knows, uh, maybe I'll come and, and do a touch and go over your folks house later. Probably not today because you know I'm, I, I have other work to do, but eventually, okay. Fantastic, Frankie, that's going to be, it comes out comes out here in uh, in New York City I think on on uh, Wednesday at I think 7 p.m. Well it's a bit of a gust of wind you see that I didn't do anything else just a gust of wind pushing me wind is modeled in this video game and there's the Sun finally coming out from, out from behind that that collection of storm clouds that we skirted around in order to fly west here in California, we are near Morro Bay. You see uh, LA? LA is far that direction, it's far to the south, Frankie. Uh, right now we're heading over here, I'll show you, okay? So I'm, I'm over here right now, we're headed here to Morro Bay. San Francisco is uh, all the way up here. Okay, LA is down. Uh, down here, I think. Down there somewhere. We're in the middle, so we're not going to make it to LA today, but uh, we are going to make it to Morro Bay, where there's some big rock. Mojo, okay? In Portuguese, Mojo, I mean, they had like Spanish, uh, I don't know, they came, you know, and they landed and it was really bad for the poor Native Americans. They finally got some of those lands back after all this time. Like Esalen is, is uh, this this land that's, that's being given back to Native Americans currently in, in California, but uh, yeah, the, when the when the Spanish and the Filipinos and and the others came here, they you know they they gave whoa did you see that lightning hit? All right, that was what 19. I'm gonna put a, a highlight for that one. I have not seen a lightning in the clear sky like that uh, here in Microsoft Flight Simulator before. And um, you met the founder of Icon? That's awesome. Icon Aircraft? Yeah, here it is. It's, uh, I, I put a custom paint job on it for the stream of the cyberpunk typography there. But it's a very cool aircraft. It's, uh, you know, you can land on the water like this and then you can put the gears down. 
and it can land in the it can land in the on land so it's a very unique airplane to be able to do that without landing you know I don't have to land and change the and, and, and attach some skis to it it can, it can do it in the air that's awesome well well tell them if you meet them again tell them I, I I'm doing the stream because uh, I, I want an icon aircraft if you if you sponsors me here I'll Oh, you know, I'll say loads of good stuff. Uh, I'll keep just flying this aircraft. Uh, you just got to get them a sti stipend a month. You know, I don't know about like two, three thousand bucks a month. That'll be that'll be fine. I'll, I'll keep flying, and talking about it. For now, you know, I'm an unknown streamer now, but eventually, you know, I might have to go higher if uh, become a, 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 a you know a, a, some sort of broadcasting pro here. But you know i make myself laugh saying that so you can see but but that is the plan i do i do i do want to do this professionally eventually right now i have to have uh, other jobs as well but uh, very cool yeah very cool aircraft it looks like basically i mean look at this uh, i think they hired the, the the inside the bmw designers did uh did all this stuff here the cockpit and the outside i think it was a nissan designer i, I forget you can look on the wikipedia page and it, but it's, it looks, it's, it's just like a car basically, okay? There's a throttle stick, it kind of looks like a fighter stick, a fighter jet stick. Even has like, you know, like any good uh, American type of air vehicle. It has a, a drinks, so you can put your latte or your Dr. Pepper, or your Mountain Dew. Probably not a beer while you're flying, but you know, if you really want to, you're one of these California crazy people, maybe you're flying with a, with a double IPA over here infused with i know cbd and and thc and all sorts of other stuff uh all right more storms to the right here i'm gonna have to skirt these two i guess we are i think this i think there's a strong wind let me let me put higher power here because it's, it's really taking us a while it's almost like this thing is so light that the the weather here is uh i have a message a voice message here one second One second, this is a message from, uh, from Mazu. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to get the other, because I don't know, maybe it. Yeah, I'll be happy to. Send me the contact detail and I will. Or, or maybe I'll just look at the website, although I don't know if they, they would answer like a random person's uh, random person's request here here you go one thing that's I think it's crazy in this world we live in with all this it's like the, the, there's so many channels of communication you can talk on chat you can talk on discord you can talk on on voice you can talk on on the web browser you can talk on you know zoom it's just nuts okay in, in video games too all right here you go yeah, let's try to go through a storm. I mean, I might crash, but let, let's try it. Let's go under this one here, okay? I'm going to cut throttle because like any airplane in Microsoft Flight Simulator, if this gets, if that little dial there gets the red, there's a very good chance that you'll just have the Microsoft uh, screen of death that says you overstressed the airframe and uh, you died, you know? You don't see pieces falling and stuff, unfortunately, because I, I want damage modeling in this my refrains here you know like a refrain in the song that you keep like singing the same thing over and over again this is what i'm going to keep saying over and over again i want damage modeling please like an il2 i know it's not a priority you know these manufacturers probably don't want to see pieces of their planes on streams flying but hey come on it's a game it's not reality here you know it's not like i haven't oh look at that and that's a rainbow there a rainbow in the storm that's really cool very beautiful moment here of this Icon A5 in stormy weather, flying west, classic type of road trip thing, flying west in California, just like I did about 15 years ago, remember, a wonderful trip and a, a wonderful morning here for flight in this Icon A5, let's see how it does in the storm, okay, I'm going to fly right into this here, hopefully, it's probably going to freeze up this, the windshield, but let, let's, let's just skirt it a little bit to, just to see how it feels like, okay. I'm going to skirt the storm a little bit. And we are slowly approaching Morro Bay, okay? 
Oh, look at that. That is pretty awesome. Whoa. Okay. And Whoa, did it hit me? No. Huge uh, lightning there. Okay, now we're going to turn right into the storm, okay? Okay, look at the water's coming in. That's pretty crazy. I have to listen to Mazu's message every one second. This is pretty insane, dude. I don't think you're supposed to do this in these light airplanes. So now, now I really have to keep an eye on this thing here, okay? That's ground. That sky, I have to make sure my nose, you know, doesn't stay like that too long because I'm just going to crash at the ground because you can't see anything in a storm generally. Okay, let's go. Let's fly into it, Frankie. Here you go. I hope it doesn't ice up the, 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 the windshield because then I'm going to have to try to land. It is, I think it is a feature of this game that you get iced up uh, if you, you know, fly into something that... That has a temperature that, that has like freezing, like freezing rain. Okay, let's fly right into it. I'm gonna aim at the sun a bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, not too bad. the storm and outside the storm. You're up early, Frank. You have had a had a meeting or something? Probably. More storms up front. There'll be more for us to fly into. I'm just gonna fly directly into this big thing over here, okay? Now let me listen to let me trim the plane so I can get my hands off the, the stick here and let me listen to uh to Mazu's uh message. Here it goes. Uh, solid copy, Riker. I hear your your message about problems of uh, Red Dead Online. I I can't say I've had I've ever had that problem before. Um, did you did you download the game and install, or did it, are you still only on the launcher? I know that they've had issues in the launchers in the past, but that was like when I got it. It was ages ago. I don't know if there's new ones. I would suggest going to the. I, I think you already did that. Going to the Rockstar Games. Um, troubleshooting forums and if that fails go to reddit uh, type red dead online reddit and go there they're probably that's where people usually post their solutions to problems like that i'm going to check it out later it's not the same version that i have because i have the full game with the offline uh, story as well but i can take a look to see if uh, i'm having trouble logging into it may be a it may be a thing that so many people are trying to log in that it, it broke their server but i will as soon as i'm done with this stream i'll will further assist you McCoy out. All right, it's a message from Mazu. And now we're back here into flying into storms towards Morro Bay, the location that inspired that uh, the night city in Cyberpunk was the, the location that inspired it. Oh, there it is, and I, there it is. I think that's it to, the, to our right there. That's Morro Bay. All right. So we don't we, we don't need to go into the storm, although let's 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 go into it and that's Morro Bay right there, okay? That's where Night City is in uh, in Cyberpunk. We're gonna fly into the storm and then we're gonna come out of it and uh, it's gonna set up bearing and we turn right a little bit here. Let me make sure that uh, Yeah. Okay, let's see what happens when you fly right into the storm of this icon A5 here.
Very nice uh, sound effects here. Not getting any rain. This is sort of just dried lightning storm so far. I did get some on the other cloud. So you can't see anything when you're flying through into these storms. At least the temperature doesn't seem to be freezing in the cloud, so my cockpit is not freezing up. Oh, here you go. Here's some rain coming. Yeah, there's some rain coming. Yeah. You can hear it too. I don't know if you can hear it. Copy that, Mazu. <laughs> I'll help you after. I'm excited to play Red Dead Redemption online with someone. I, I mean, I played of Arthur for a bit. He prefers Arma, though he'll probably join us as well, eventually, uh, for some time. Look at the size of those clouds. There are, boom, and a bunch of lightning happening right around here. I can see the light of the airplane. I think there's a couple of planes behind me. You can see their starboard and port lights, their navigation lights coming in through the storm there. And we're going to clear the storm and we're going to be pretty much right over uh, towards Morro Bay. Yeah, we're down here. We're like down here and now I'm, oh, 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 watch my speed, watch my speed. I have to keep an eye on this because I can't see anything outside the window now, so I have to keep my eye on this, okay? I have to keep the nose on that blue there above. That's the artificial horizon and critical instrument when you're flying in zero visibility weather, which this plane is probably not really rated to do. Probably not supposed to be doing this, in this if I was flying in real life here in this type of aircraft. But thankfully, it's just a video game. If something goes wrong, no one's going to get hurt. You know, just uh, my ego or, or, or a few pixels here. All right. Let's aim straight to Morobeo. I see, I see a little opening here. All right, and here we come. Oh, nice visuals here. Leaving the storm. And this Icon A5 aircraft. We're gonna land in Moro, in Moro Bay. Moro is a Brazilian word for hill. So that's why I think, and there's this hill there, it's like some ancient volcanic magma created this hill over there. In Cyberpunk, I think that's the location of the orbital spaceport or something. I guess there's, in the Cyberpunk universe, there's some, there's some uh, orbiting space stations around Earth. Who knows if you're gonna be able to go to them in the game or if you're gonna just stay in Light City, and there it is. So that's Moho Bay, the location of, uh, Night City, okay, that's the that's the spaceport there. I think around here is like the Hollywood type area where the rich people live. I think to the south over here is like a more industrial area. And the, in the game, I think there's all these different factions that inhabit these different areas. So arriving here from the west, this is the Pacific Ocean. We just went through, flew through a storm here. A morning storm. And the cut power. And look at that lighting on those hills there, it's pretty nice. Cut power completely here. I'm gonna drop altitude and fly over some of these hills here to see what it looks like from uh, from below the storm because I want to see that. And then we're gonna come, we're gonna go all the way there to the to the water, and then we'll fly in on the beach at a low level. Okay, I have to cut power when you go down in this game. It's not a World War II flight simulator. They can just uh, you know just, just go straight down without pieces flying off. This one here, if you go over 120, I think that's it's not okay. 120 20 knots. Uh, you're not the plane is gonna tell you game over All right, let's see what the storm looks like from the bottom here In high
Highway 1 skirts, uh, I think that's probably Highway 1 over there. Maybe, the, maybe over here it goes higher. I don't remember actually if Highway 1 goes all the way to LA or not, or if it, or if it, uh, if it stops before LA. Because I've never gone, I've never been to LA, only in Grand Theft Auto. This is really beautiful landscape here, and it is really California, especially the landscape uh, on Western California, like right by the ocean, is really a field of contrast. You know, gorgeous nature. You have the sequoias nearby here. You have redwoods. You have like a high desert and Joshua Tree, and and then you have like these, you know some hellscapes out there too like i don't know bakersfield or, or like these oil fields so it's really a a land of contrasts and it shows a bit uh you know a fight between uh you know people that just think about profit and people who, who care more about the environment and and what's happening to the planet and hopefully there's more of the latter as time goes on you got hope with young people hope with uh environmental movement there's more obey in the distance and i wouldn't be surprised if cyberpunk uh, 2077 has some themes uh i hope it's not all you know punk and s oh whoa 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 what happened there did i got hit by lightning yeah, some sort of beep i hope that there's some uh, environmental themes in the game i hope it's not all just you know style and punk haircuts and and uh and cybernetics i hope there's a bit of uh and i'm sure there will be because i'm not sure but i'm i, I would be surprised if it wasn't because you know they're they're usually pretty good with uh with their writing cd project and uh and i never well lots lots of turbulence here check that out i've never played one of the cyberpunk board games so i don't know really what it's like i have a friend who's a huge fan of board games bkg it's in London, in uh, England now, and I'm sure that he is will be delighted to play some cyberpunk. It's not going to be multiplayer in the beginning. I think or two or three years later they're going to add multiplayer, but it'll be pretty awesome to meet in that universe with him and you know, with other friends who who like these games. Beautiful morning here, like this storm obscuring the sunlight. You can see the sun over there. You can see the lighting in this game, how phenomenal it is. Very, very delicate and very dramatic. And we're turning over to Morro Bay in the distance. I'm gonna get close here over the over the hills. I'm gonna drop some more altitude here. And we're gonna fly over this Pacific. I see there's quite a bit of white caps down there because of the weather. Ooh, and I'm getting a little fast here. Watch out. I don't wanna I don't want to fly to end prematurely with a very rude uh, message that uh, I overstressed the airframe. Okay, give a, the, the translation view here a little bit more back to give a, a higher sense of speed. And let's fly right over the ocean. to give you a sense of the, you can see the wind, you can see I'm pointing that way, but I'm, I'm, I'm flying a bit that way, there's wind coming in. But it's really cool how in this game, the, the weather affects the ocean too. So the water, I haven't seen it like this before because I haven't flown in this type of conditions of like high wind and storm, but it affects the water too. You know, weather obviously does affect the water. So it's, it's nice to see this modeled here. Oh, it makes me feel like, you know, landing and getting a, a nice, some nice fish and chips. <laughs> oh, 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 not too close. Oh, big lighting strike back there in the distance. All right, I'm just going to show you a little touch and go example here. Let's uh, put the landing gear down. Whoa. And this is the coolest thing about this Icon A5 airplane. You can land both, you know. Oh, I, I have a message that Red Dead, Ricardo is, oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. That someone is playing Red Dead online. Perhaps uh, Mazu was successful. Okay, lots of wind here. I, I really have to like, 
give a bit of a right rudder. Here, let's go. I'm going to touch down here. Power out. Slowly, slowly, slowly. A very strong wind. And now po full power. It's a little touch and go. Very strong wind. I'm, kind of, I'm having to put like right rudder here to keep going. There's Moro Bay. That's the Moro or Mojo. In Brazil, Mojo is a, you know, a word for a hill. But in Rio de Janeiro specifically, it's also a word for, you know, where the favelas, where you get like a... People that live there have the best views in Rio de Janeiro, some of the best food. Many people are scared of the favelas, uh, you know, for good reasons. There are drug dealers, there are drug, uh, a lot of crime problems, but you know, it's also, it's also a, a lot of good things happening in those, in those places. And I visited a favela, I visited Rocinha, which is the largest one in South America, in Rio de Janeiro many years ago, and um, it was a fantastic experience. It was an organized tour. If you go and some, so someone who, who knows the place, uh, you'll be perfectly safe. You'll be safer than in Copacabana, all right? Okay, Morro Bay, location. That's my broken MP3 player here. Maybe I have to press some buttons of Cyberpunk's Night City. It gets located right here. That's the real world location where it's, uh, it's based on. Except, you know, it's like 57 years in the future, 2077. I've managed to see lots of old pictures of the Wild West. Okay, so you're stuck in the you're stuck in the screen that keeps showing like loading, 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 loading. All right, I'll help you, Mazu. As soon as I done of this, uh, I'm at 42 minutes here. You know, I'm gonna keep this at about an hour. Maybe I go a little further, and I'm gonna help Mazu. And here we are, Moro Bay. We're gonna do a level low level flight on the the sit the town. It looks like a quite a sprawl. Not many large buildings, but very spread out, a bit like a lot of LA. Oh, 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 watch out, watch that speed. All right, and let's get down a bit here so we can see under the window a bit more. So I can look around at the mouse. Night City, present day. You know, they, they don't have the skyscrapers yet. They don't have, you know, very fashionable people who really enjoy technology. Uh, maybe uh, there probably are, you know, cyberpunks around here. People who, you know, love technology and 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 uh, you know are a bit more anarchistic views of society and you know like a, you know, haircuts and and. Uh, bit of a gothish fashion sense. I don't know, maybe that's a very narrow view of what punk means. I'm sure everyone has their own view. Oh, that's, look at that. That's a little road that goes over the other road. It's pretty cool. There's a roundabout. I should fly eventually over the English town that has the most roundabouts in England. I forget the name of it, but uh, that would be a fun one to just go drive around some round, round up land and then drive around some roundabouts. All right, let's try to land on the water. The weather is pretty choppy. I think that in this type of weather, it would be against, you know, fly, against procedure. You, you wouldn't be allowed to land in this weather in real life. But since we're playing a video game, why don't we give it a shot? Thanks, Frankie. This is quite gorgeous, isn't it? I love those hills in California. It's kind of like green, like round hills. Okay, let's fly over the... I think this is sort of the Hollywood of Night City, of the Haywood, I think it's called, or it's like there's golf courses, you know. Okay, let's look around this hill here. That's the industrial area. Full power. Get over this hill over here. It's quite when you're low altitude over the hills, this gets quite choppy. All 
Right, nothing can try to do is uh, this. Let's try to do a little flyby. I can see the wind when you when you stop the plane of the sort of drone view. You can see how strong the wind is that's coming from the from the Pacific. Like it's really pushing my airplane down. I'm trying to come. I'm trying to control it to make it come back towards me here. Hopefully, I won't crash, but I think I will. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn back real quickly. Yeah, I'll try it again in a bit. I have to get used to that drone view. All right. Let's take a look at some of the industrial area. Let's get a little bit of attitude here. Morro Bay, where Mike Pondsmith, the creator of the cyberpunk war game, got his inspiration for the Night City map. It's interesting this airplane, how the wings, the, the, like there's these slats almost over here, you know. I think it's some design that gives it very uh, high stability at low air speeds, which, you know, is critical for, for people who don't have a lot of experience flying, because if you, if you stall at a, you're low and slow and you stall, it's a, a big problem, you know. All right, we're gonna turn in and we're gonna try to land in the water, okay? Let's just go right over the tops of some of the, take out some of the shingles from the roofs, lift shingles off the roofs of some of the people who live here. Oh, <laughs> and here we go, I wasn't paying attention, all right. All right, well, I'm just going to give you a quick... Uh, we're not going to fly all the way there again. We're going to have jumped there. That happens. And this is my biggest criticism of this video game is that it's very sudden. You don't you don't hear like a certain... Like, like, you would hear like a wing bending noise or something. But but uh, what happened? Your internet was off, Mazu? Here, we're just going to do this. Okay, you're going to come here, double click. I'm going to show you where it is, okay? If you want to go fly there. Here's the United States of America, okay? Here's California. So you zoom in here. Okay, there's Los Angeles, Kalax, you know. And then you keep going up from Los Angeles until you see this little thing here. You know, Santa Maria is a big one there. You see these islands here? Okay, keep going up from there. And then there's this little thing that's like a little bay here. And then you just double click, set departure. And here, let me let me put, a, I'll, I'll show you like the, the, the weather uh, this would be a good a good moment to show you the weather live weather um, the ability to change the weather on the fly in this video game oh you know what Mazu that's I don't know if that was invented by Rockstar or, or, or Ubisoft I think but this thing about holding keys and waiting for the little thing, it's so annoying. And I wonder if they just do it to force you to spend more time playing the video game because it's really confusing to me. I would much better a click. And and Red Dead is full of this stuff, so... Okay, example, okay? Can't see anything here, let me turn off this. Okay, here, here's how you do it. You can do it live on the fly, okay? Night city at night, early morning maybe. Okay, you can go down here. Uh, I could put like, uh, could put like storm, okay, to give us start. But then, uh, for example, let's let's just t turn off the coverage there. Let's turn off the coverage there. Let's uh, over here, turn it off here. This one here covers us. There you go. So you can change this on the fly, the weather, which is really cool. All right. And let's just leave some low clouds here. Let's uh, 
let's put the altitude in the bottom pretty low. Okay, we can change the time as well on the fly. And you can do this from outside the airplane. I couldn't see the airplane, so I was, you know. But here you go, just click on the cloud icon. And uh, look at that, it changes it on the fly. It's pretty awesome. I'll just leave it more or less where we were before, around there. That's a really cool feature of this video game, be able to change the, fly, the weather on the fly. Mazo says, believe it or not, I found a forum in Portuguese that gave me the right suggestion. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, I know, you know, Bra Brazilian, people who speak Portuguese are, are in Brazil, especially, they're, they're pretty good at sorting problems out, you know. Everything is more expensive there. A computer in Brazil costs a fortune. Video games in Brazil cost a fortune, so they, you know, they, they find ways to get around things, and uh, and that probably makes them very good troubleshooters. All right, we're gonna do a little hop. We're gonna first do a touchdown with the landing gear on this little uh, sandy bank here. Try not to crash, and then we're gonna hop over. Ooh, lightning strike right there. I'm gonna try it from outside view. All right, there you go, and now full power. Now I'm gonna get the landing gear up. And now, let's try landing. This, this you probably w wouldn't be able to, shouldn't really do this, what I'm doing here in the real airplane, land in this type of condition, you know, big, waves but we're gonna try to see what happens hey jokey how are you doing this is a icon a5 i'm gonna put it down here it's like a flying car okay and i made a cyberpunk 2077 style paint job for especially for this stream this thing can land on water and on land without you know having to stop to for, for retrofitting like the Cessna or something. Pretty modern airplane. I think the uh, first prototype was 2012 or something. Okay, here we go. Got a little bit of a bounce in that one. Whoa, okay. I'm gonna put full power and I'm gonna take off again because I don't like that I'm gonna go on the beach here. I don't wanna beach my airplane. <laughs> they cost, uh, I think, uh, they were supposed to cost about like $130,000, but I think they cost now like $170,000, $180,000. And there was controversy, I think. I, I, I'm not very that familiar with it, but there was some controversies in development of this machine. A very interesting machine. BMW design, designers did the dashboard, it looks like a car, it has this crazy angle of attack thing here, which is really cool, like it shows you what, you know, like a warning. If you go up, it goes to the yellow all of a sudden that you're gonna stall. Uh, very, very nice, simple dashboard, it looks like a, a car, you know, it looks like a Beamer. <laughs> and I think the designer of the, I don't know if the airplane or the, some Nissan designer was, was involved in it too. And this is uh, it's a, a build a airplane that comes with the base version of Microsoft Flight Simulator. You don't have to get the deluxe or the uh, whatever the other one was called. It's just the base version. Very cool. Turn the lights on. Landing gears. Kind of looks like Airwolf, the, the landing gear. You know, a push propeller in the back, so you don't have a, have a totally clear view here in the front. Re wonderful visibility, really. The wind is high, it's on the top, so you have really good visibility to the bottom. Jokey Never Crashes says, I heard someone say that if you need an instrument for your AOA, you shouldn't be flying. Uh, I think you're probably right. I think that people who want to buy this airplane probably shouldn't be flying. 
I think this should be, you know, required to get, become an instructor maybe in a different airplane before flying this. But, you know, I'm, I'm not a real world pilot. I don't have a pilot's license, who am, I, who am I to say? But I think it is marketed to, you know, people who are, have quite a bit of money and are aficionados and want to get something cool. But who knows, maybe flying cars are coming and uh, everything is going to be easier. Um, I do like this angle of attack uh, indicator. I, th I think it's a cool design. Um, all right, let's land on the let's land on a the road there in uh, in in Night City. I mean Morro Bay. Keep my speed low. I think that uh, yeah, the range of this airplane is not very large, about 600 nautical miles. It's not super fast, but this thing about landing on the water or in the or road is, you know, quite unique. I don't know of another aircraft that can do that, you know, without having to stop to be re retro to be refitted with the appropriate landing. Actually, before we land, let's look at the let's let's. Uh, fly over these hills here. I love these sort of rolling hills that you have in California like these here. Very beautiful. Try not to crash. Bit of a Grand Theft Auto Los Santos rolling hills here. But these actually look like this in reality. They actually are very very gentle hills. Been here a long time, probably means geologically. A lot of turbulence. A little flying here of all these storms happening. All right. I think the wind is coming from that direction. I think the wind is coming from the south. I don't know if I could get an ATC to tell me. I don't know what's the nearest airfield here, but. But the, the weather's going to be different there because it's so pretty localized weather of these storm clouds. So I, I, I'm not going to worry about. I'm just going to. The feel of it is that the weather, the wind is coming from that direction. Okay, from the from the south. All right, we're going to land. We're going to look down. We're going to choose a place to land here, Night City. And uh, this is not real time weather. This is uh, custom weather. I can switch it to real time weather if you like. Uh, let me land for, and then we'll switch to real time weather. Okay. Let's land on uh, maybe that one there. That looks like a main thoroughfare. Looks about the length that would require. Right in the middle for a little bit of challenge. All right. I'm going to do a turn uh, to the base of Main Street here on Morro Bay. Got some baseball fields because we're in the United States here. We got, uh, you know, lots of suburban sprawl because it's California. And, well, it's, you know, also part of a big... Uh, Sao Paulo is the same way. Got some farmland. We got looks what looks like some industrial warehouses here. Night City. That's geared down. Let's put the flaps down. Yeah, the wind is coming from the southwest, I think. Yeah, it's really pulling me. You can see it really pulling me. So that's going to make it challenging to land in this, this road here. But look, but look at that. I'm, I'm really coming like sideways on it. Okay. Yeah, very strong wind here. I'm, I'm basically gliding right now. I'm basically just gliding in. I don't know if the, I'm, I might have to go around, but let's give it a shot. Crosswind landing in the main street of uh, Morro Bay. Hey! Oh, and there's cars! Oh, but there's no damage. There's no, uh, and put that down on the other side. Oh, and it didn't make it. <laughs> All right, doing a, hey, <laughs> captain instead of commander. Oh, <laughs> how are you, Megatron? Yep, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back, but uh, let, let me put live weather. Let's see what it really looks like in Morro Bay right now, okay? Yeah, so, sorry, today was meant to be an elite day, but since it's a cyberpunk launch week, I thought I would give a bit of hype here. 
Okay, so, but I am going to play Elite um, uh, either later tonight or tomorrow for sure. Tomorrow is definitely Elite Day. I might, I'm going to find a way to tie that in of Cyberpunk too. Probably we're going to visit, visit Keanu Reeves's space dock or something, okay? Let's just put live players live, 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 live. Okay, so this is how it is right now over there. And uh, Morro Bay, here we go. The real world lo life location of Night City here uh, in... Uh, Here's the Earth. You know, very beautiful planet we live in. Hopefully we start treating it better, which I think we are slowly, but you know, maybe more and more people start treating it better. North America, all the way to the west. California, have LA, Los Santos, we play GTA down there. We have San Francisco up here. Okay, I lived in Oakland for a few years, right around there. This cooperative house called The Playground. And here between San Francisco and LA, live weather. Morro Bay, the location that inspired the the layout of uh, of Night City and Cyberpunk, designed by a, a board game designed by Mike uh, Pondsmith, a gentleman. I, I think he I think he is from California. I'm not sure though. Right. Okay. So this is live weather. This looks pretty typical for this part of the world. You know, completely clear. Nothing there, you know, no, no, not a cloud in the sky. You got the moon rising over there. It's nice. You can see a bit of a reflection of the moon. Very nicely atmospheric effects in these. Uh... Where, where is your place, if I may ask? Oh, you mean like on the map that you were looking? I thought maybe you lived in Morro Bay. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty awesome if someone lived in Morro Bay would come here. I didn't put Morro Bay in the stream title. Maybe I should have, but, you know, I can change it right now. Let's see if that does something. Morro Bay. Two R's. Morro Bay. Morro. Hill in Portuguese. All right, let's try landing again. It looks, I don't know. I, I, the wind is definitely not as strong because if you look at the water, you know, <laughs> the waves are not going crazy like they were a minute ago. Oh, you live in Sweden? Awesome. Oh, we have a detachment of Scandinavians and Europeans here. We have Slovenia, we have uh, Netherlands, we have Italic Peninsula, we have uh, uh, UK. I haven't seen bats in a while. I think he got a job. I'm not sure it's, it's time. Okay, more limited. Okay, let's cut the power here. We got Norway with Megatron here. I lived in Tala Peninsula many years, went to university in England. Been to Norway, never been to Sweden. I was supposed to go this year. We got uh, also Marcel Beck in Sweden and Stockholm. So yeah, we have a, a lot of Europeans in the stream here. Probably something to do with the times that I stream, you know. It's, uh, is it prime time down there right now? I don't know, but... Yeah, it's wonderful. And then I have Frank, you know, Frank, he is in California. He's a, quite a bit north, Franco della Familia, quite a bit north from this area here. He's in, uh, near, near to San Francisco. But definitely the strongest presence here on this channel is from Europe. Once in a long while, we get someone from Brazil. We got uh, Fusca74 comes in. Be nice he came in one of these days, but I think he's pretty busy these days. All right, flaps down, gear down. Let's look outside and see. Okay, the flaps have gone down. You can take a look to the gear over here. There you go, the gear is down. And let's try another landing at that, uh, over at this, uh, the main drag, the main street here of, uh, I think I'll go to the left ones a bit longer. Of Morro Bay. I was meant to be in Sweden uh, last summer to visit a friend, but with the whole COVID thing, that got canceled, you know. All right, here we go, trying again. Oh, there's a big airliner up there. Okay, I'm not liking this. I don't like that tree there. I think I'm going to go around. I think the one to the left was better. Let's go around. There's an airliner in there. It's probably a player. Okay, let's, uh, let's quickly... Uh, Give me one second here, okay? Let's turn on nameplates and see who's out there. Because uh, if someone wants to join my flight here, it'll be nice to see who they are and to say hi. And then what is the traffic nameplates on? All right, apply and save. 
go back. All right, we have a B Web S523, we have SKW5935, we have Soar in Spy. Yeah, there's some people out here. Airport ENZV if you want to see my hometown. All right, let me write it down. I'll make it into another stream for sure. Uh, what the heck's my pencil? Lost it. Okay, what is it? Let's see. E. Echo November Zulu Victor for Megatron. Okay. Yeah, I do, I do want to make a feature of these streams to, to visit friends of mine or, or, you know, people in the stream who. And in fact, uh, Wednesday, I believe, I forget if it's tomorrow or Wednesday, I think it's Wednesday, I'm going to go see Shipa. I'm going to do Shipa to Shipa flight in the Netherlands. Another, uh, one of the, the regulars here in Hypertech Zero channel. And I've put down ENZV airfield in Sweden for, in uh, Norway for Megatron. Okay, my flap's still down, yeah. It's a crazy amount of detail they put into the modeling of these airplanes. Okay, I want, to, I want the middle road there, okay. Very crazy uh, little approach here. Just missed that tree. A lot of wind still from uh, coming from the ocean. Quite a bit of rudder. There's no collision model in the car, so I don't have to worry about that, but I just missed that van there. Break, 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 break. <laughs> oh, mamma mia. Mamma mia. <laughs> I lived in Italy for a while. <laughs> no, I'm originally from Brazil. My dad was English. I live in a few places, so I consider myself off the planet. Okay, let's try it. Let's try again. I want to land in, in Morro Bay, okay? But I lived in Italy many years. My mom lives in Italy. <laughs> How would an Italian say guada? You mean like uh, make the most of it? Oh, good. Oh, cheese. You can ask a uh, Mazu in 1984. He's from the Italic Peninsula. Gouda cheese. Un po' de gouda. Un po' de gouda. Mwah. <laughs> if you want to say, I can tell you how to say it's good gouda cheese. You say, questo gouda è buono. All right. Trim down here. Change your speed. You gotta trim. It's this thing here. Okay. I think that it's like some sort of automatic thing. I don't know how to turn it off. I don't. I. I, I basically did not look up at any instructions to fly this airplane. I just managed to take off myself. You know. It's okay. Yes, I do. Uh, here, actually, let's let's land on water right now. I, I'm actually I'm purposely trying to land on the main. Um, on the main thoroughfare as a little bit of a you know landing challenge but let's let's land on water to show people that it can be done all right so i don't put my landing gear down that means that you know that thing here is oh let's put the flaps down I mean, that thing there is landing on the water okay i think i can put my flaps up for the for the landing on water actually they want to touch the wing down Whoa, 
<laughs> it's a bit of a bounce. <laughs> Not doing too good. Not doing too good today in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I haven't managed one landing yet, I think. You know, they're not normal landings, but... Oh, I have to turn on the water rudder? Cool. This thing here, right? I wonder what the landing procedure is. Do you have it on or off? I think you have it up, right? Let's take a look at it in the back. That's off. Now let's put it on. Uh, water rudder. Now it's on. There it is. Little rudder comes out. That's pretty awesome. Oh, it looks a little rudder in the airplane. That's really cool. Land first. Copy that. All right. Up in transit. Over Night City, I mean Morro Bay, California. Let's land, let's taxi up to the starport location, which is that, the Morro, it's just that mountain there. Oh, there's the moon. Okay, that's very, you know, sci-fi like. Full, oh, yeah, full power. Not gonna be able to clear this. Not gonna be able to stop. It does feel like a sports car. It's really cool. It's fun plane to fly. All right, I want to try again the center. Okay, so gear's going down. Then, then I'll do the water landing, we'll try the rudder. But I do want to get the center once. There's bigness coming in. Flaps down. Back to the other side. Soar in spy. Did you soar in a pie? Apple pie. Oh, 112. Yeah, I have to. I'm not, I'm not gonna be up to too long. I have some other stuff to do here. Okay, here we go. Someone flying 820 there. <laughs> it's this IL 2 Sturmovic. I think that's just his, uh, his tail number, probably. Last one, this is gonna be just on the water. <laughs> I don't know if I crashed in the tree or if all of a sudden the car has got damage modeling for that one. Okay, let's start start of a, a barrel row. Let's see if I speed up so much that I crash. We oh, can't barrel roll this thing. No, 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 couldn't do it. Try again. Barrel row. Maybe I have to put my my up first. I don't think you're supposed to do this in this. I don't think it's it's supposed to be uh, flipped around, you know, but this is exactly what the kind of person who would probably fly this airplane would try to do. All right, now I'm just gonna land on the water and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I don't think there's reverse thrust in this, but we're gonna just land right here. Am I gonna make it? Whoa. 
That's really low, huh? Look how look how low it is. is. This normal? Okay, there you go. Now it went up. It's pretty cool. All right, so here is the Icon A5 on the water. And this is basically the killer feature of this airplane, I think. Here in Morro Bay. A little bit of a secret of Microsoft Flight Simulator that this plane is in. Okay, now let's put the, let's drop the little water rudder. Okay, and now my, my, this thing here, the, it, it moves a rudder in the bottom too, so I can actually steer. Okay. Like the engine provides the power. It's like a, you know, some human generated wind there. And the little rudder provides the directionality. All right, let's go. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep the rudder down to take off, but I'm just gonna take take off with it anyway. And oh, quite quite a long takeoff roll. This is. I think I should have to put the rudder up. Put it up. And here we and we're off. All right, last try on that landing. Maybe I should try this road here, and it'll be even, even more of a crosswind. But it leads, if I can't do it, I just put full power and I go over the water again. Let's try that. Yeah, I made it. Uh, I mean, it's pretty simple. I, you know, I have, tr I'm not a pro at, at, uh, at making paint jobs at all. I just kind of hack my way through it. I basically took the cyberpunk uh, Pantone color, I, like yellow, I put it on the whole thing. And then I erased the, the alpha channel to erase the A5 from here. And I got, the, I got the cyberpunk font that's freely downloadable. I put that in there. Then I do this, this is a little wing that's in Photoshop actually. I just modified it a bit, a little heart. And that's it. And oh, and I changed it, usually in the, in the regular paint job this stuff is red and I just change it to blue I can upload it later if, uh, if people are interested I've, I've never I've never it's 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 really hacked it's not a uh, in any way shape or form uh, like all the air all the icon a5s in the game will have it because I just basically over gave it the same name I, I didn't override it I put in the community photo so all the planes will look like this but I could spend some time to figure out how to properly distribute a skin uh, aircraft paint job if if interested um, I should do a tutorial actually because it is fun to put your own paint jobs in the game and I haven't seen many tutorials I mean I see video tutorials you know but I get so tired of seeing just video stuff sometimes I just want to uh, reference things you know bullet points and just say, do this do that put in this folder and and you know with a template maybe I'll do that Okay, this is, this is going to be a touch and go because I don't think I have enough space here to land on this thing, but let's try it. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll spend some time doing that. I mean, I'm a total newbie. I'm a rookie at this, so you're not going to be learning from, you know. I'll, I'll tell you what I learned, just from you know, hacking around, but there are people who are much more knowledgeable than I. Uh, but I can show you how I did this. Do you have Photoshop or GIMP or something? Right, full power. <laughs> Let's try one more time with where I want to land. I want to land on that main street, okay? Flaps are up. Morro Bay, Cyberpunk 2077 City. Fly an Icon A5, a plane that you can do touch and goes on the water or just land on the water. Here's an example. This model ground effect this this game, I think when you get close to the ground, it's like this cushion of air, so you just like float right above it. Fun plane to fly. 
Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh, it's nice to get a, a longer view. But let's give ourselves some more space, okay? I don't want to touch down earlier on that road, so let's give ourselves some more space. Let's not rush it. I could land on the highway too. That might be much easier, you know, but let's give it a shot. Cool. Yeah, GIMP should work. I, I, I'm not a, I don't know how to use GIMP. I never really use GIMP, but I'm sure that it's, you know, it'll be the same stuff that Photoshop has that for you to do this type of thing. All right, here we go. This will be my last try for this one. Is that where I want to land? Yeah, let's go this way. Any gears down, yes. I'm gonna try to do it from the external view. There's a crosswind which makes it hard. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> what to pass? All right, here we are. This is, I just wanted this because I wanted to say like Night City. Okay, we're in Night City here, the location where Night City is supposed to be at. Okay, so you can like, let's like get up with the drone view here. And uh, let's take a look around quickly. Because on Wednesday, I mean, unless I have some sort of issue because it's going to be 2 billion people downloading the video game at the same time. I should probably buy it. I'm, you know, I'm going to buy it eventually. Who am I kidding? So I should probably buy it tonight in preparation for, uh, for, seeing, for, for playing on Wednesday. And I'm going to stream it from the beginning. It's the first time I'm going to be streaming a video game that's brand new and that has so much hype surrounding it from the beginning. So that's Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. And I'm gonna keep streaming the game regularly, Cyberpunk. I'm gonna number the streams so that, you know, people wanna jump to one or the other one later on YouTube, they can. I'm gonna try to, for the first time, really get a, one of these blockbuster games from the beginning. You know, there'll be two billion people streaming it too, so it's not like I'm doing it really to, to get loads of viewers, although that's always nice, but uh, I'm excited for Cyberpunk. And uh, here is, yeah, you have Night City. Let's get back in. Let's drive around a little bit quickly. You know, it's like a car. This, so basically, we're driving down. Let's let's go. Let's go to the water here. Let's uh, buy some. Uh, you know. Oh, it's gonna crash. It's gonna crash. <laughs> what? All right, I have to go anyway. You've bought it. There's still no preload option. Oh, there is now. That's exciting. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for being with me. And uh, I'll be back later tonight for some Red Dead. And I'll be back tomorrow for Elite. Thanks for being here, Megatron. Here, let me see if I can get the credits rolling here. I, don't, I forgot if, I, if there's a way for me to do that. I think there is. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to figure out right now, okay? But thanks so much. I'm going to leave here the, uh, this intro here so you can see the chat going there. And... Um, I will see you again soon and uh, hope uh, you have a fantastic Monday wherever you are and a fantastic rest of the week. <laughs> Peace out from Hypertext Hero.